morning, brothers and sisters. I pray you are well. I pray that God is blessing you today, that he allowed you to wake up. You've noticed I haven't spoken about a certain event that's supposed to occur today. There's a reason. I'm not giving in to these false prophecies and all these stupid theories. Because I'm going to make an educated guess. And I'm going to trust God. I've seen many eclipses in my life. So it's nothing big for me for it to happen. It's normal for a lunar eclipse, a solar eclipse. I've seen it. It doesn't. It's whoopie doo to me. You got all these people panicking, wanting to film it, wanting to see it, wanting to give a prediction. I tell people all the time, quit jumping on bandwagons. My stance is clearly by investigation, research, whatever you want to call it. I trust the Word of God over everything else, and I stand on the Word of God. And nowhere is this prophecy where the world's going to end today and the rapture is going to happen. I mean, that is the stupidest thing I've heard yet. And I'll be the first to say it to you that is dumb. Jesus comes, there's not going to be a set warning. It's just going to happen. And you better be prepared. Because if you're not, you're screwed. Because he's coming, but what we're seeing today, that's not of God. That's just natural cycles. Oh, but Brother George, it's in the prophecy. It's this, it's that. No. Not even. It might be in some foreign manuscript, but it ain't in the Word of God that this is going to be today that Jesus is returning. Jesus comes like a thief in the night. There's not going to be no set event that's going to bring him back, especially one that's expected. Because he'll come when he's least expected you'll have all these religions and these numerologists and new agers and all this that are going to tell you oh it's today and these false theists I trust the word of God and the word of God doesn't tell me that this eclipse on April 8th of 2024 is going to be the moment Jesus returns Quite the contrary, it tells me to be prepared every day to meet the Lord. That he could return in an instant. And he's not going to give a warning. So quit jumping on bandwagons. Quit jumping on false ideologies. Quit jumping on things that you have no business playing with. Because Satan's playing with you. Because the Bible even specifically tells you that there's going to be these guys that tell you that, oh, here comes Jesus, here's Jesus, here's Jesus. He's coming this way. And Jesus even said, believe them not. Because he's not touching foot on this earth. He's not setting foot on this earth ever again. He's not setting his foot on this cursed ground. I'll call it cursed because his blood was shed and poured out on this ground for you and I. So I don't know where y'all think he's going to step foot back on this earth. His two witnesses will. They'll prophesy for three years. Be left dead in the street for three days. Rotten and stinking. Then rise back up and come back to life. That warning sign hasn't come yet. And that is why I am not convinced by anything man says. Because the Bible was clearly specific on that one warning. But the 
dead shall not be. Yet, he says. So, be careful what you're following. Because a lot of people are convincing people of stupid crap. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you for this morning, O oh Lord. We thank you for waking us up today, O oh God. We give you the praise and glory, O oh Lord, for waking us and giving us the strength to carry out another day in you, O oh Lord. <clears throat> another day to be your witness and testimony, O oh Lord, and your light in this dark place. Lord, we again thank you and we give you the praise and glory, O oh God, for just being who you are right now, Lord. You hear our petitions. As we make them known to you, O oh Lord, you hear your children cry, and you answer them. Lord, you were the one that left the 99 for the lost sheep, and I'm ever grateful, whether it be for this or any situation, Lord. You pulled me out of the miry clay, a wretched man that I am, O oh Lord, that when I make these requests, Lord, I know that it's not because of me, but because of who 